All right, it looks like we're live. Um, hey everyone, today has been an awesome release day and we wanted to stop by and chat with you guys and play around with some of the awesome new products. So we're really excited to kind of craft along tonight. Again, this is a live stream, so we'll be looking over here and here at your awesome comments so you can leave them throughout the chat. And of course, we won't be too slow or anything like that. So if you're a replay viewer, welcome. Um, we're excited to have you guys and just kind of craft along and be inspired by some of the fun new products that we released today, which is really exciting. So I'll wait for a couple of you guys to join in here. We're really excited to kind of craft along. I got my mom here. Um, and Hi, we, everyone. We did the awesome release video this morning. And so now we're just going to kind of craft with some of the new stuff. And of course, you can check out the release video after this. Um, it was tons of fun. We released a new ink color, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, but she played a huge role in picking out some of the colors and kind of designing some of the products as well, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a great week. Uh, yeah, this definitely. is a great way to spend your Friday evening. Mm -hmm. So Definitely awesome. There's 27 people in here. Hey, everyone. Wonderful. Awesome. So we'll be reading your comments as we go through. We're gonna turn down to the surface. We're gonna introduce you to some of like the ink colors really quickly, and then we'll get into kind of crafting together. Awesome. Everyone is joining in. You can see all the comments oh, over yeah. there. Okay, so let's turn down to our work surface. So we've got our stark white cardstock here. We're gonna be creating some fun cards in tonight's live stream. Now, the one thing I wanted to do before I started is show you the difference between some of the inks that we have, because I know sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. So this is one of the colors we released in January. This one's called Piggyback, and it's a really warm pink, but it's also a really light pink color. Then we have Rosy Cheeks, which was kind of a more um, like blue tint to it, but it's a little bit warmer. Um, and this one is kind of a mid-tone pink. And then here we've got this one, which is got a very blue undertone to it, but it's this hot pink. This is Prom Queen, the color that we just released for the Mother's Day release, and we are so excited about this one. Here's the new one. It's so much fun. It's just this beautiful, like, hot pink. We definitely needed it in our line. It kind of fills that fun gap. And then we have Bee Sting, which is our dark red from the line as well. Oh, Nate's in here. He said, hi, guys. Excited for your new release. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> Simon's older brother. Awesome. Janet just uh, ordered the complete collection. Awesome. Well, thank you. So that's the new color. We are loving it, and we love how much it blends in with the other ones. We like to have different tones, so not just the same um, tone with different shades. We like to include different tones, so warm and cool colors, and they make it so that you can layer up really nicely and get a really awesome look on your cards, which is great. So let's get right into the crafting today. So we're gonna choose three ink colors. We already chose them kind of before this video. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use our stark white cardstock. And you guys have probably heard me talk about this several times, but this cardstock is really great for ink blending just because it doesn't have a coating on it. So it's gonna take the ink and layer the ink up nicely, um, which is really what you want. Yeah, you're working on a coloring sheet. That's awesome, well, hanging out with us. Yay, okay, so we're gonna start off by doing some ink blending. We have our blending tools here, and we're gonna go into our ink pads. And the thing we want to do when we start out is just take the ink, and to get a lighter color of the ink, I just tap off to the side here. And I'm gonna kind of follow along here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to go right onto my cardstock and create a lighter, soft version of that color. So if you want kind of a, a lighter version of the color, just tap off onto your craft sheet on the side and then go into your surface and start your ink blending. And there's links down below to the new release. Um, so you can check out all my products actually down there. There's a link there as well as a coupon code in the description box for a first time use, um, which is really exciting. So you guys can shop any of the new release or anything else because they all work together really, really beautifully. So are you still using the same color? Yep. And then I'm going to go in and switch colors. Hmm. Yeah, that one's a lighter color, so you'll just have to go in. I wouldn't tap off that color since it's nice and light already. All right, now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with Prom okay. Queen. So this is the new color. And I'm going in with Tropical Tango. Tap off to the side. And then we'll go in and just lightly go in here. And the thing I love about my inks is they just blend together really seamlessly. You get this beautiful blend as you go in here. So just going in with that color, and then I'll finish it off with a little bit of clear skies as well. And I am gonna use um, 
crown me, which is the new purple from the last release. Awesome. Okay. So I'm just going in here, again, really light hand because we're gonna go in with a stencil over top and create a really fun background. All right. Oh, you did it. Yours a lot bigger. That's yep, okay. and I would go out and blend a little bit more. You can you can always blend to the edge. So what I do is instead of refilling it with ink always, okay. I just go up to the edge and kind of carry some of that color. Oh, good idea. Yep, so it just kind of helps blend it out to white, which is really nice. Oh. And then you can go back in with any colors and things like that and just kind of fill in any area and make sure the colors are really blending together nicely. And I don't even add extra ink on when I do that, really. I just kind of go in and make sure everything is blended with any excess ink that's on the sponges. So we've got our little lesson, lesson on blending there. Except I think I need more of the pink. piggyback. Mm -hmm. Got quite awesome. a few people in here now. Marcy says they blend wonderfully. Well, thank you. Yeah, definitely. That's one thing that I love about my inks. They really went in and formulated and make sure that they blend really well in the end. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to the Feel second step. Feel free to help me out if you think I need it. <laughs> so we'll go on into the second step here, and we're going to grab our stencil. So I'm going to use the bubble wrap stencil, and she's going to use the bubble wrap stencil as well. I mean, you could really use any stencil from the line. And then we're going to place it down here. Now, do you want a little tape? Or yes. do you want to hold it down? Uh, no, tape would be good. Um, did we have a fish fry tonight? Um, no, we did not. I don't know where the tape is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, right here. Perfect. That is a Wisconsin thing, but we did not do it tonight. Thank so you. what we're going to do is just flip it over. So I'm going to take this stencil, flip it over to the back, and then tape the stencil down like this. I'll do the same on mine and then you can flip it back over. That way it just, you can still move things around as you're working, but it stays down really nicely. Perfect. And then I'll grab a piece of tape here. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to, Marcy says they're really nice ink. She's just upset with herself for waiting so long to buy them. Yeah, sometimes it, I know they look kind of similar just with the packaging. It looks, and there's been lots of inks that are very similar on the market, but with these, we really kind of perfected the formula and made sure that they were really unique and different from anything else because they can really do a lot, which is awesome. So then what we're going to do is go in and load our um, blending tool up with color here. I hold the stencil down still, even though it's taped. And then I'm just going to go in and add more color over the top. And since my cardstock doesn't have a coating, we can add more color on the top and it's going to make it darker. Okay. So go in here and just kind of blend this out and just kind of go over top of the color. So if you had white space, leave that like you had it earlier and just go over top of the color and make it a little bit darker. And these are translucent dye-based inks. So when you go over top of the older colors, they're gonna layer to create new colors, but also get as dark as you want as well. So that's why I went in with a lighter hand at first, because you can really get several different shades out of one color, which I love. So then again, I'm gonna finish it off with Prom Queen here. Awesome, that looks good. And then, good. like usual, you can go in with whatever colors that you want. So you can see, I'm really just using lots of different colors from my line and, and Prom Queen just blends right in with any of the other colors that we have, which is so awesome. And I always say too, it's kind of difficult to create mud with my inks. I don't know why, but it's difficult to create a brown, which is really nice. So you can kind of test out colors and play around with different colors um, and have fun with anything without really having to worry about getting a muddy background. Yay, Becky says she ordered the stamp pads yesterday and she loves that you can use them with water. Definitely, I love that you can do that as well. My paper is sold out. Um, I believe this morning it was in the 10 pack, so it wasn't in the bundle. So check, check out the whole website because some of the stuff is available in bundles and also individually. If the bundle is sold out, you can still buy it individually usually. And if not, check back tomorrow or the next yep, day. Yeah, because they restock things almost daily, which is awesome. 
Hmm, okay. So then I'm going to go in. The great reveal. And just lift it off. And here we have that oh. beautiful background. So look how fun that is. I love it. So you have this really awesome background that you can then go in and stamp on and create just a beautiful look on, which is really fun. So peel off that tape there. Okay. Keep it for later. Um, no. no. And then we're going to go in with our, um, this one is called Doodle Florals. And I love this new stamp set because it's got the solid and the lined images of the drawings, which is really awesome. So when you stamp this down, you can then go in with the solid images and color it in with colors of inks from my line, which is really great. You could use it either way, um, and it gives a really fun look. Okay. So then I'm going to go in, and you can grab a sentiment here. We can start off with our sentiments. Okay. And grab acrylic blocks. Thank you. And we're just kind of going to have fun creating with this new launch here. Again, like I've kind of been doing the past few times, we're not really showing like a specific technique, but we'll share lots of tips and tricks as we go, which is really fun. Thank you. So I'll go in here. This sentiment just says, you make me smile. And she's using the sentiment that says, you are such a blessing. I love these. They've got nice, bold font there, which is so great. Can I have the rag? I kind of... I want to wipe that off. Thank you. So there we go. We have our sentiment. And then here, what I'm going to do is just stamp over top of this background with some of the lined images. So I'm just going to peel the stamp off. I'll set it on my desk for later so I can clean it off. And then I'm just going to go in and create kind of a pattern using some of the flowers. So you can grab whatever flower you want here, and we're going to stamp it kind of around the sentiment as well. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this one here and I drew all these flowers so they really match kind of that hand drawn look of my line which is so much fun. Are you going to keep fun. using the same flower? Uh, I'm going to use some different ones but you can do kind of whatever pattern you want. That's what I love about these flowers is it's really easy to make your own kind of patterns and pattern paper with them. Um, let me give you a look at some of the cards that I shared. Like here you can see I created kind of a pattern paper with it. Here I did kind of wrap around the sentiment. Same thing here. So you can kind of wrap the, the flowers around the sentiments to get a really cool look. And then I'll go in. And I love these little branches too, because these are what makes it so easy to wrap it around things. I actually put two of these in the stamp set and they're mirrored. And that way you can kind of stamp them around and give that really cool look. So I'm going to go in with the second one of those. Here it is. And so you can just kind of go in the set and do that. Um, surely, let's see, any Canadians on here? Oh, it's not available. I am not quite sure. You'll have to ask um, customer service at rangerinc.com. It could be something with what's going on right now um, that they might not be shipping to Canada right now because of everything that's going on. So I'm not quite sure about that. You'll have to email customer service at rangerinc.com. And they are really good about making sure that you get responses really fast. Awesome. And then let's see. I think this one will be cool here. So you can kind of just like wrap flowers around the sentiment, which is one of my favorite things to do with this stamp set. Um, and just kind of create little flower bou bouquets around the sentiment. So that's what we're doing here. I promise that we won't do this all night. We'll switch to a different technique very soon. But I just wanted to kind of share how to create this finished card with these flowers. Someone said, how proud are you of your kiddo? <laughs> oh, I'm proud of my kiddo. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun to see um, what your kids are all interested in and um, help them to just go with whatever um, interests them. So I'm yeah, very proud of them. Okay, and we'll go in here. And just finish off a couple of little flowers. And I just like to take the littler ones and just oh, kind of fill in some around? of the spaces. Are we cutting this out? No. Okay. 
Yep, you're good. Do I need something here, you think? Sure. Okay. Like what? What is this? These are solid images to okay, fill so in the other that. parts. I'm going to do this. Oh, you know what? I want that. And the cool okay. part about the solid images is you're able to go in here. So if I want to use the solid images, you could just leave it as the lined stamps here, which I think is really fun. But let's say I wanted to use the solid images and stamp the color down. All I need to do is go in here and this one, I'll ink it up with one of the colors that I use. And I'm going to stamp it down onto this card and it doesn't need to be perfect. Just kind of find, let's see, find exactly kind of like a petal to look at to see where that's gonna go and then you can stamp it right down and it's going to line up with that flower and you get that really fun look. So you can then fill it in with some of the colors that are like opposite of your card, which is really cool. So is that so what we're doing So then here, next? I'll use a little bit of blue. And I'll stamp this in. So this is just an option, just a, an idea of things to do. But if you're using it on white cardstock especially, these images are really fun to use to fill it in and you'll get a nice solid color, which I love. And then I'll just do one last one here. And I'm gonna use um, this guy and I'll do it with the blue. So I, I did kind of the colors that are right next to each other, which I think is really fun. Finish this off quick and then we're gonna move on to the next kind of technique and card. And we'll stamp that right down. And so that was really cool too. So depending on what you want to do, but that just makes it stand out a little bit more. You can hold up your card there. And so these are just kind of simple cards you can create with those stamps, which I think is so much fun. And each person is going to look different. You know, you get different floral bouquets and different colors and things like that. And you could really create unique cards with them, which is really awesome. So those are kind of two cards that we just created. I like how you colored yours in with those solid stamps. Thanks. Awesome. And I know you like mine that aren't colored in, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Okay. Yay, Danielle says these are looking beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, I love how these look. Now let's set these off to the side. We're going to do another background as well. So let's go in with... Should I put those... Okay. Okay. Let's go in with our next background. So I'm going to, I'll use this one. So I'm going to use the um, Jewel Heist background stamp. And she's gonna grab the, um, let's see, let's see if I can find it here. I've got like a big pile of stuff on my desk. Oh, I've got it. Awesome. She's gonna grab the um, Charming background stamp. So we'll use different backgrounds here. Actually, why don't I take that one? Mine doesn't have the design on it. Oh, okay. So here we have, this one is called Jewel Heist. And the cool part about the Jewel Heist background stamp is this is part of the peel apart background. So the cool part about this one is the center portion kind of peels out like that the whole way. So you're able to use that pattern separately on your card, which is so much fun. So I know you guys have been loving those background stamps just because it has those um, peel apart cutouts in them. And it just makes the stamp a little bit more versatile. But we're gonna use the whole background itself right now and create a really fun card. And if you have any excess ink or anything like that down on there, just go in with a little bit of your cardstock. You can create just a really simple kind of little watercolor wash there. And then you could use that on a card later on, which is fun. Um, I'm just going to go into my rag to clean up the surface a little bit so we can kind of move on to our next project. So you can place it down here and we're going to start with our stamping. So this one's the charming background stamp. And this one's got just a cool... Um, pattern in here. Now one of my favorite things that I did with this one is I actually took it and cut out those and made them into little flowers but there's lots you could do with this. So we're gonna do some kind of watercolor looking backgrounds as well which is so much fun. So let's go in here you can grab some more colors of your choice. So grab whatever ink pads you want to use here. Okay. What's your recommendation? How many colors? I'm gonna use about three. Okay. So let's go in. I'm gonna grab some triple berry. I'm gonna do bee sting. I'm just kind of inking it up here. You've kind of seen this done. We've done it in some make and takes. We're gonna do just kind We're of doing strips of color here. Okay.
awesome. So we're just going to ink it up with our inks and put a little pressure on there so you get lots of color down. The more pressure uh, that you add with the color, the more color is going to go down onto your surface, which is really awesome. So then you'll get kind of a more vibrant and saturated look. I'm going to go, go in with a little bit of um, prom queen then. Okay. Can I do prom again? No, I missed this part, I think. Then I'll go in with my rag and just kind of wipe off a little bit of that color. I'll go in with a little bit of guppy. So just going in here and creating this really easy background. Leave me a comment. What have you guys been doing during this time? I know we're all, a lot of us are inside right now and just kind of having fun. What have you been kind of crafting up? If you've been crafting or things like that, I want to hear in the comments a little bit. Uh, I don't know about your families, but we've been eating a lot and cooking a lot. And then I'll finish it off. Let's go in with, um, let's see. Oh, I only did three colors. And then I'll go in with a little bit of, whew, I'm going to go in with some uh, bee sting. Just go in here with a little bit of color. Okay. Thank you. Desert Stamper said those pull apart background stamps are genius. We've had a lot of fun designing them because it almost adds a whole nother look to your stamp. You can kind of get a um, background stamp, but it's also almost like you're getting a stamp set with it. We're almost out of water here. Oh. Hold it upright and that's right. right. There I you go. Just go fill it. Okay, so we're gonna grab our stark white cardstock here and we're just going to use that and press it down into our background there. And then I'm just going to take my finger and lightly go around the whole stamp without moving anything and just putting pressure on this whole thing. And then you can lift it off and you get this beautiful watercolor background once you're done. And so this one I did lots of different shades of. You can kind of see the purple there, that really vibrant prom queen. And then I did some of guppy and then some red there as well. And if you get any parts where you don't want, like if you have some darker spots there where you don't really want it, you've got a little bit too much water right there. So sometimes you can kind of just lift off some sections um, to get rid of a little bit of color. And then I'll go in with the heat tool and we can just kind of start heat setting these backgrounds. But you get this super cool watercolor effect. That's one of the things that I absolutely love about my inks is you can go in and create these beautiful watercolor effects without really actually knowing how to watercolor, right? You get this super simple um, background you can create, but it creates this beautiful hand-painted look, which I love. Thanks. I'm just going with the heat tool. You don't need to heat dry it, but I'm just a little bit impatient. Um, but you get this such beautiful look on your card and this would just look so good with a large sentiment or you know a little animal or something like that and you can just kind of finish it off with that once you're done. Awesome. It's pretty. So there we have our backgrounds. You can kind of lift it up into the camera there. Awesome. And those look so cool once you're all finished with them to create those beautiful watercolor looks. <laughs> Playing in your rubber room. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, let's see, working on your junk journal, that's awesome. Cooking, chatting in driveways with neighbors, and playing with alcohol inks, that's awesome. Yeah, I just did a recent live stream on those too, which is so much fun. Definitely, I love these backgrounds once they're all finished. And a cool thing that you could do really easily to finish them off is we have this stamp set called Encouraging Words. This was from our last release, but you can see how well loved and used it is. These are uh, clear photopolymer stamps, but the coolest part about these is they're just super large images. So I'm just gonna take one of these. You can grab a sentiment as well. Okay. And we can go in here and just kind of finish off our card with a quick sentiment. Of course, this one's not from the new release, but I always encourage you guys, everything that you bought in the past from our product line works in conjunction with whatever is new. Um, so if you haven't seen this stamp set yet, it's a must have. I have been using it on so many projects because if I create a background that I love and just want a quick and easy card to finish it off, this is a great way to do so. And especially with what's going on right now in the world, just uh, spreading a little bit of encouragement with these big sentiments is really what we need um, and sending cards and things like that, which is awesome. So I'll go in here, uh, add lots of pressure and make sure that's really well inked up. Okay. 
and then we'll go in here and stamp it down. Now, if you want to use a misty with these larger backgrounds uh, or with these larger sentiments, since they're really big, um, you can if you want. And then just add lots of pressure, and there we have our stamp. So add lots of pressure down onto Where there. Where should I put it? Either way. I think I'm doing it this way. And so there we have uh, just a really quick and simple finished card. And of course, you can put, you can chop off the sides and put glitter paper on the sides. Like I would just finish it off really quickly and easily like that. And it just creates such a beautiful look on your card. It's pretty. Look at those. And just so simple too, right? You could even go in here with like some of the flowers that we just did um, that we had just stamped out and use those with that sentiment too. So everything, like I said, is mix and match, interchangeable, and you can create some really cool looks with that stuff. Yeah, you guys are loving the big sentiments. That's so awesome. Okay, let's go on to the next thing now. I'm going to, let's create a card with the new Supermom stamp set. So let's go in here with this. This is the new Supermom stamp set. Let me grab the backing for it too. It's got that pink logo on there. Um, and this one is so much fun because it's got this big background in here and all of these awesome superheroes. Of course, this is for Mother's Day. Um, that's why we have this mom right here and some of those awesome mom sentiments. But we've also just got encouraging sentiments in here so you could use the little girl or boy and give it to a younger kid or something like that and just have words of encouragement on there, which is so much fun. Can you still get it? Yep. Yep, they're all still for sale. Um, let's see. So nice. Some a lot of you are saying you're making cards and sending them out to nursing homes and That's so awesome. to friends and family. It's really nice. So Ranger is selling all of the products. So even the older products are still on the website. So you can check out the link down below, and there's a link to all of the products on the site, which is really awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna go into here and grab the large kind of um, stamp here. And I'm going to grab the Misty stamping tool. And we could use this to stamp down our image. So I'm just going to line this up in the Misty. Now the reason I'm doing this is just because it's such a large stamp. We want to make sure it's going to stamp down really nicely. So we'll go into here and we'll stamp it down. Now this might take a little bit longer to create. So these might take a little bit longer than the first cards that we created, but I think they're going to turn out really cool once we're all finished. So I'm going to, did I have a stamp that I already had used for this? Let's see. I'm going to check to see if there's already a stamp set that I had pulled out. Okay, perfect. I want to use the one that I've already used here. That way I'm not dirtying more stamps than I have to. All right, so I'm gonna go into here, pick that up with my Misty, and I'm going to then stamp it all out. So I'm gonna grab my Jet Black Archival ink then. We'll ink that up really nicely. And stamp it down. And I didn't ink it up too well, but the good part about that, that's why I added it in my Misty, because if you make a little mistake or stamp it wrong, you can always stamp it again. Perfect. Okay, okay. there's that first I'm one. I'm kind of liking that. Will you do mine? Yep. Awesome. Definitely. It's so awesome that the um, mail service is still going that, and very thankful for everyone who's doing that. I agree because it's really a, a game changer. Okay, we'll go in there, stamp that down. See, there was a one-time stamp, yep. if you actually ink it up right. <laughs> um, and then we'll go in and do some blending. I just want to hit this with the heat tool to make sure it's nice and dry. Do the same thing here. And then we can go in and we can do a little bit of ink blending in here. Now, what I like to do is you could totally leave it plain like it is right now. But I like to go in with our lightest color, yellow. I'll go in with a little bit of over the moon. And the cool part about this color is it's super, super light yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from the bottom edge and make sure it doesn't hang over. You can always tape off the edge, but I find that this is pretty easy to do. Just go up there, and then you can kind of bring it up to the top of the building. And I, like, I let it kind of fade off into there. And I'll do the same thing. 
So it looks like business buildings with the lights on. Yep. Definitely. So it looks like there's still lights on in there. Awesome. Okay, so you can you. do that one. And then I'll go in with a little bit more color. Of course, you don't have to do this, but I like to go in and shade a little bit more. So I'll go in with a little bit of Guppy, which is our orange color. Awesome. And then I'll finish it off with a little bit of Bee Sting, which is our red. So that's just going to add a little tiny bit of red up to the bottom. I don't want too much, but I want just a little bit in there to kind of darken up that bottom area. Perfect. You did this building too? Yep, just a little bit. Okay. And there we have that cityscape once we're all done. Now you could totally go in here with a little bit of water if you wanted to too. Uh, you don't have to do all this, I'm just kind of showing kind of the extra things that you could do. But what the water does is it adds a little bit more texture into there. So if you've never used the inks, if you look in there, there's a little bit of water there. And that just gives a little bit more texture to the whole thing. It kind of lifts off some of that color. And then I'll go in and heat set it down. Yay, Danielle said this is a cool set. It's not her typical set, but she's a fan. Thank you very much. I just thought it was so cool. And when we were kind of debating still doing this release because of what's going on right now, we decided that there still needed to be that positive energy and we wanted to still do this release because we wanted to still celebrate moms and things like that. And it was very important, especially with everything that's going on. They're kind of stepping up and doing even more right now. So it's a really great time to kind of celebrate that and still send out cards for moms and Mother's Day and things like that. So I love this. This is so much fun. And I love the big building too because it just finishes off a background really easily. Now if you want to, you could totally go in too and do like some blue around the background. I went in with one of my cards and I actually cut out the buildings and then I added it onto a blue card base. But you could totally just leave it like this. I actually like it like this and then just maybe do a sentiment down here. So let's see. Awesome. Okay. So let's go in with the next image. What do you want to color? I want to color. So there's the little girl, the boy, and then there's the I mom. Want the mom flying. Awesome. And I'll do the little boy. Are you stamping it right on there? Um, nope. So we're going to stamp it onto a separate sheet of cardstock, and we're going to do a like little I bit of watercolor in. Good. But I won't. Are we going to use your cardstock? So here we're using some of Ranger's watercolor cardstock. Okay. With this watercolor cardstock, it's got a textured side and a smooth side. And we're going to use the smooth side. Now, the reason why I use this is because my cardstock can totally handle water. But when it comes to detailed watercoloring, I want a watercolor cardstock because this will give me a little bit more time to move it and blend it on my surface. Whereas my, uh, my cardstock kind of sucks in the color right away and lets it dry on that surface really fast. So I want something where it's really easy. And you'll have to give good pressure on that stamp and make sure it's nice and inked up. So there we go. Let me go in again with that. I missed a little part of his hair up there. So give good pressure, press it all around. Awesome. And then you can lift it off. There we go. And then we're going to go in and do some water coloring. So I'll grab out some water brushes. And we're actually just going to spray some water on our surface because I don't really fill these up. I actually prefer to just spray some water up because then you could dip into it and um, create whatever you want. So grab some colors here. We're going to grab some colors that we want to use. So okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of clear skies. I'm going to do prom queen. A little of bit course. of beasting. Of course, prom queen. <laughs> do a little bit. And here is over the moon cheeks. and also a little bit of Gur. And then we're going to go in and start our watercoloring. So I'll just go in here, dip into some of that color, and then we can go in and start our coloring. And so for this, I'm just going to go in and really simply just kind of blend out some of these colors, grab quite a bit of water, and then we can color it out. 
I like to start off with minimal color and then go in and do a little bit of shading as well. And we'll just kind of color this in. Now we won't take too long to do this. We'll go kind of quick here and just do some simple shading. That's one of my favorite parts about the inks is they're really easy to color and blend with, which is super awesome. Yay, awesome. Okay. Yay, Michael. Michael just ordered the new release bundle. She's so and he's so excited. I am too. It's such an awesome like product release. And I just love that it's kind of that Mother's Day theme. It's it's really fun and we're kind of getting into theming the releases now along with what's going on, which is so much fun. So I'll just go in here and kind of color this out. Okay. Awesome. I'm loving how this is Look looking. That. that looks great. Uh, she needs prom queen hot pink boots. <laughs> I love that pink color too. I wasn't sure how much I would like it. I was like, uh, do we really need another pink in the line? But once it arrived, I've been using it a ton in my cards. And now here's one tip as well. That I always like to say, if you're coloring, try heat setting it in between some of the layers. And it doesn't need to be completely dry, but just a little heat set so that the color kind of dries on the surface. And that way the other colors won't bleed into that one. Someone said, is it weird coloring yourself? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, uh, no. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> All right. Which color hair should I give her or me? Hmm. I'll do this. Awesome. And then if you want the color to be lighter, just kind of blend it out with a little bit of water. If you want it to be, to be darker, dip into your color with a little bit less water, and that's going to give you a darker look. So you could really go in here. That's what I love about these colors is you're able to go in and do lots of shading just with one color. So you don't need a ton of colors to do this. I'm only using, I think, three colors so far. And then to create a skin tone, I go in with over the moon and a little bit of gur, and I'll test it off to the side first. And then once I like what I've got, I'll go in and just start coloring. And of course, you could do a little bit of the darker color if you want a darker skin tone or a little bit more of the lighter color if you want the skin tone to be a little lighter. So that's what I love to do when I'm coloring skin tones is just kind of mix my skin tone to however I like it um, with those two colors and that really helps. Awesome. And then we'll give a little bit of rosy cheeks with... Giving her a few highlights. I think this is rosy cheeks actually. That color was named perfectly because you can really go in and, and use it for giving a little bit more color to their cheeks. Awesome. Let's see. Laura said, my inks are uh, so versatile. Definitely. That's what I wanted for them. I wanted them to be super versatile so that it was really easy to just use for all different occasions because I loved ink before this, but I never had an ink pad that... I used for everything. And so this has been an ink that I really haven't had to pull out other inks because of it, um, because it works so well for so, coloring with all different stuff. You can color, you can blend really easily. And uh, that's one thing that we really wanted to make sure was a big thing with these. I like how they layer. Like you don't have to be an expert at watercoloring. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go in and I'll start my cutting. So for cutting out the images, I use this little Fiskars pair of scissors. And I just go in, and these are spring-assisted scissors. I know we get a lot of questions about dies. We don't have dies yet for the release. However, these are pretty simple shapes that they're pretty easy to cut around. Now with me, I am kind of lazy, so I like to leave a little bit of a white border around them. And I also leave a little bit of a white border because number one, it makes it so that even if you do make a mistake, um, nobody's going to really see it. And it's also easier to cut around, but it also gives a little bit of a highlight so it stands away from the background a little bit more, especially if you've got lots of color going on in the background or anything like that. This really makes it so that it pops and stands off that background. Awesome. 
How do you make the skin color? Like so I mix a little bit of over the moon and some gur, and that's going to create the perfect color. And test it off to the side to make sure that you like it before you go in. Okay. So don't be afraid to mix your colors too. And I recommend putting them onto a craft sheet like I'm doing here. You can use a craft sheet and that's going to help you pick up your inks off the surface. And then I'll just go in and you can see how fast I'm cutting this out. It really is quite simple, especially like I said, if you go in with a little bit of a border, you can go in and cut that out pretty easily. Awesome. I love that coloring. Good job. Thanks. Would you like to be so kind and color? I cut mine? Sure. Thanks. So always make sure it's nice and dry before you cut it out. Someone said they love the prom queen color of the boots. Oh, thank you. Can I um, collect some of this? Thank you, Danielle. She said she loves the videos because she learned so much. That's so sweet. So here, I'll just go in and I'll quickly cut this out. You can kind of read some of the comments. Okay. I'll try to do it as quick as I can. Perfect. Danielle said you're a great teacher, which you really are. Thank you. So we're glad you guys are all with us tonight, enjoying this new release. We've had tons of fun, and today, this morning, we kind of unveiled the release, so if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to go check it out. It's on my YouTube channel here after we're done with this live stream, but now we're just kind of doing some crafting videos and stuff with it, and there will be lots more inspiration to follow because I love providing you guys with inspiration as we release stuff so that if you purchase it, you've got lots of projects to make and ideas with all the products you have because everything is super versatile, and it's just going to be really easy to create with and, and use with other products in the line as well, which is so much fun. You are so good at cutting that they were <laughs> thinking that was a good move. That Definitely. I got you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of practice, but I actually find that it's easier than dies for me because with a lot of the die sets that you have, you have to actually go in and cut out the dies. And, and by the time I, I use uh, wire cutters to cut out the dies, I can easily cut them oh, out yeah, by this hand. This is like beautiful. Awesome. So we're going to go in with our pieces then. Now for this, for any of this extra ink, I'll go in and I'll literally just spray it down with some water. And then you can go in, grab a piece of cardstock, and we can go in and just pick up some of that color. And you get a really cool look on there. I know you guys love when I do this because you get such a cool effect, especially, you know, it's like I said, it's kind of difficult to make brown with my inks. I don't know why it is, but they just create beautiful blends always. So Look, you get a really fun background, and of course you can heat set this. Then I can go in, let's heat set this quick. You can go in and kind of wipe off this surface. Wow, Sharon, thank you. So generous. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That's so sweet of you. Thank you very much. It's pretty. It's a little watercolor background. Yeah, it almost looks like a tie-dye. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Sharon. That's so sweet of you, and it really means a lot. Um, it kind of helps support. That's pretty, that is. And so, I'm going to go in here. The escape on there would be so pretty. And yeah, let me grab this oh, building. So another thing you could do, like, is grab whatever you want, like a background that you've created, and that's why we created it like this with that shadow on there, so that you're easily able to go in with an ink pad, let me go in and tape this down. It's a little bit warped because we went in with so much water. But I'll go in and just tape the background down. And then I'll go in and just ink this up. And then we can stamp it down. And I'm just going to stamp all the buildings onto here. And this looks so cool once it's all finished. I love that look. Hmm. I love it. And that background, it just creates such a cool blended effect. In fact, I might want it. Look how pretty that is with those hot pink boots. Mm -hmm. And another thing you could do too to make this background kind of stand out is go in with a little bit of prom queen ink 
I'm just gonna go in here and make some of those edges stand out a little bit more. So you can go in and don't be afraid to just have fun with your inks on your backgrounds. It really goes from then just like a soft watercolor background to adding a little bit to the edges to make it kind of stand out and pop a little bit more. So don't be afraid to go in with your inks again and just do a little bit of blending. And then I always like to go in and I'll go on top of this color with a little bit of guppy. I'd love to go in and kind of take a softer background and just go around the edges. It's almost like photography where they kind of add a vignette to the um, edges so that it focuses in the center a little bit more and it'll bring your eye to the center of the buildings, which is so awesome. Pretty. So there you go. And then you can add whatever you want on your card. So here I'm gonna make this little dude flying. She's got that awesome colored background now. I love how that one turned out. So what I'm gonna do would you put it here or would you put it here? Probably in the middle. In the middle? Okay. Maybe a little bit higher. There you go. Um, and then so you can add that down with some foam tape. We're going to use some foam tape here to finish off these cards. Pretty quick and easy, right? So it, it wasn't, it didn't take too long to create these cards. I think about 20 minutes, I believe. Um, but they're pretty quick to create, pretty easy. Um, and you get this really cool background in the end. Now I have to say that that cityscape is really beautiful in there. I think that makes it kind of sped up because you can really stamp a lot of these backgrounds. Let's say you make a lot of backgrounds, you can stamp that cityscape down, color in some images, and there you have some really awesome encouraging cards with what you've created, which is so much fun. I'm a little slower than you. <laughs> and then I'll go in with a little bit, let's use some clear skies here. I'm just gonna go in and touch up the edges. There was a little bit of a brown mark on the edge, I think from probably watercoloring. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of clear skies and go in here. So pretty. Awesome, and so here I'm just kind of finishing it off with a little bit of color on the edge. So you can kind of decide what you wanna do. There's so many different options for blending and adding ink to your cards in many different ways. Like you guys are saying, the inks are so versatile. So just have fun with creating backgrounds with the inks. I could even see a galaxy background being super cool, like kind of a nighttime sky um, on there, and you can really create so many different effects with it. I'll go in with a little bit of purple and just finish it off and just really touch the edges with that. Because it'll kind of just darken it a little bit. You won't see the purple too much, but it'll kind of mix with that to create an even darker blue, which I think is so cool. It's pretty. Thanks, you too. I That's think an awesome we need um, a sentiment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab the stamp set that we've already been using. So here's what's cool about this. We've got these sentiments that say pow and wow, which I think is so much fun. I'm just going to use, let's see. I'm going to use the you've got this sentiment. Let's use it up here. Liz says she wasn't sure about the cityscape, but she loves it. Well, thank you. Um, we had a ton of fun designing the cityscape. I, I kind of hand drew those buildings, which was so much fun. And then we actually added a half tone to these buildings in the background, which was so cool once it all got finished. I think I'm gonna do super mild. One thing about these sentiments is you can take them since they're photopolymer stamps, and like I'm going to take it and bend it a little bit. So then you can stamp it down. What I like about this, like I said, is you can make a card for your mom for Mother's Day. But another thing you could do is just make encouraging cards for kids too, because it's just a superhero theme and the sentiment you've got this just kind of goes with anything. It's just a nice encouragement card, which is so much fun. All right, question for you. So I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of water to the edges too. Should I put mine down here and curve it or up here? Either way is your, I know. your choice. So many decisions. Okay. This is a brave move to spray the card at the end, but I love the texture that it adds. It almost looks like little stars too, which I think is so much fun. Okay. My choice is on the top. This 
stamp set is called Super Mom. It's from my new release. And there's links down below to everything from the new release so you guys can go ahead and purchase anything that you want that you've seen in today's video, which is so much fun. Oh, I'm adding water to my tea. So you can see how it kind of reacts with that water. Look how cool that looks. So you can create so some really pretty. simple and beautiful patterns in the end, and then you can just dab it off and then dry with it. a cloth to remove any excess water, and then we can heat set that. Oh, they said put it on the bottom. Sorry, Sarah. Awesome. So these backgrounds are so much fun. Of course, you can see different ways to use this stamp set. I think it is so much fun. Um, Adam actually is a really awesome designer on Instagram. He's been creating lots of cards using my products, which I think is so much fun. Um, but he's got lots of really great ideas. And he actually took the cityscape and cut out some of the buildings and just stamped several of them and cut them out and used it as like kind of a rectangle across his card. So there's lots of different stuff you could do with this. But look how fun those are. Just those two already the so first pretty. two that we've created with them are just so much fun um so there's a lot you could do with this stamp set um but these these are some of my favorite cards i've created with the release so far um but of course here are some of the other ones that i created using the super mom stamp set i think it was so much fun here you can see a really bright background here i've created more of a colored scene so just lots you could do with it awesome okay so let's kind of recap what we did. I think we're going to be um, kind of done here. So here are these awesome two cards using the Super Mom stamp set, which I think is so much fun. Those might be my favorite. And then here we have some using the new Jewel Heist and also Charming Background and some of my inks. And also that's the Encouraging Word stamp set from last release. And then some cards using um, some of the stencils. That new Bubble Wrap stencil is so awesome. So. And then also the Doodle Florals, we can't forget. So there was quite a bit of stuff released, um, but we're so excited about it. Again, there will be links down below in the description box if you want to purchase anything from this new release. Um, so let's turn it down to our face here so we can kind of say hi to you guys. So we had so much fun crafting tonight with all of you guys. All these projects are so much fun. And of course, like I said, everything's linked down below. There's also a coupon code. If you use code SIMON20, you can get 20% off your entire purchase if it's your first time using that code, which is so much fun. The gloss with the POW stencil, I used some embossing ink and used some clear embossing powder on there. Awesome. Everybody says they love the new stamps. They love the Super Mom stamp set. Someone's got it in their cart. That is so awesome. So yes, it's been tons of fun today. We had a busy day with the release video in the morning today and now this fun crafting, but it has been so much fun. Um, not much else to do in quarantine, but this crafting has been awesome. Awesome. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. We hope you enjoy this release. We'll be back for more crafting with it. So if you do add it to your cart and you end up buying it, Ranger is still shipping right now, which is so much fun. So they'll give you all your products right away. They're shipping them out. Um, and then you can use them in quarantine and craft with us as we're um, kind of sharing more inspiration and videos like that. So we'll see you guys very, very soon. Hope you guys have a great night. Awesome. Have a great night, guys. Right. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, no. Where did my mouse go? <laughs> okay. Here we go.